back to the channel, man. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of assembly on Venom. Raven's out here getting everything ready now. Everything here is already black, but we will be painting it. Right now we're gonna just kind of get everything mocked up. We need to put the fenders on so that we can get the, the hood on and make sure it's aligned properly before cutting it for the, the hood exit. Look at this damn thing, bro. Look at this. This is freaking nuts, man. I swear. I really dig how this came out, man. It, I mean, it's, it's nothing crazy. It's nothing crazy. It's a, it's a stock B20, non VTEC. You know, it's not like a huge turbo. It's it's basically all cheap stuff, but dude, it, it's a really good starting point. And I seriously can't believe that this kid's already gonna have a turbo car. And I've literally, I've never built a turbo car myself, man. Anyhow yeah, guys, we're gonna go ahead and mock some stuff up. Yes, that's a sedan bumper. Braven pulled this off of that parts car that got dropped off to us. We have some plans with this thing in the future, so it's not gonna stay looking like this, but just know, yes, it's a sedan bumper. Um, and these are his fenders. These are some sort of fits, but they're brand new. I think Braven's right now currently trying to find a bunch of 10 mils to get all this stuff bolted up. But yeah, man, getting ready to get into it. Of course it started raining. The weather seems to be so unpredictable nowadays in Arizona. Jackie Chan, bro. You know how that shit goes. All right, so we got the fenders all mounted up and we got the hood on, got it all aligned basically where it's gonna be. Now all this gonna have to come back off because of course we gotta paint it. So Braven's in there trying to figure out the space uh, from the valve cover to the hood. We have to get the hood cut for the hood exit off the turbo. Um, definitely wanna do that cut before we paint the hood, you know what I'm saying? You figuring it out there, buddy? Yeah, I think I got it, buddy. You done yet? Yeah, I'm done. What the hell? Were you just sitting there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with you? I'm the best right. turbo in the world. <laughs> You're the best what? I said I'm the best turbo in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Pipe. Check. Drill. Check. So right there, three inches up? Yeah. All right, so that, we got to go about an inch above that. So basically three inches from the top of the valve cover, 
uh, then we're gonna cut it off and then that will get the pipe short enough that we can kind of close the hood and then just check it and then slowly take a little bit more off. We want it to be as flush with the damn hood as possible. Yeah, that still needs to come down quite a bit, bro. Yeah. Like, if we can't cut it right there, the hole will be way off. I still, I say we still gotta take like another two inches out of that. No, two inches will be flush. No, look how much the hood is open. The hood is open like four inches. Man, how you guys see four inches in your life? <laughs> Not four inches. Dude, I know what exactly half is, so. Yeah, so we gotta take a little more off. See, it'd be nice if we had a chop saw where you just set it on and then we go chop a little bit more, chop a little bit more until it's like almost shut and then mark it and then cut it. That'd be... That's how you tell where it's at. All right, we're still quite a ways away, man. We need to cut a little bit more off of that. All right, we got it a lot closer than what it was. Uh, we're gonna actually just shove some rags down inside of here so none of the dust goes in there. Maybe throw something over the engine because there's no spark plug wires in there, but um, I wanna just kind of grind on it a little bit right here. The idea, like I said, is we're trying to get it as close as possible so that we can cut the hood as, as precise as possible, you know what I mean? But yeah it's a lot closer than what it was but we still need to trim it down quite a bit and i think it's going to be a lot easier to be able to just kind of knock a little off while it's on the car and then shut and instead of keep on bolting the damn thing So much dust in my camera. Oh, now it's fogged. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. All right, I think we're good now. Close it. Close the hood and get underneath the car there, marker boy. Where's the Sharpie at? Come on back you got the Sharpie? See my Honda emblem? Yeah, I seen it. <laughs> <laughs> You're an artist. It don't look too shabby. Did you do that freehand? Oh, no, exactly. You just drew that on there, huh? You're, you're pretty good. You yeah. know what you're doing in there? Oh, we should probably wipe that down. Yeah, wipe it down. Duh. I told you to do that already. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? It's a lacquer dinner. <laughs> no lacquer dinner. Get it. Wipe it, dude. I'm holding the camera, bro. What's going on here? You know what I'm saying? No, Freaking man. kids, bro. No, Lazy. Lazy ass kids, bro. No. See, there's there's kids somewhere in this world sitting inside playing video games right now, bro. In their boxes. Can't come out of their room except for food. I used to be that way, bro. I know how it feels to be lazy. I ain't lazy. I'm up right now. Is that rag even wet with something? It's wet. It's water. Oh my god, bro. Water? I told you lack of anything. Not lack of anything. Alcohol. I have no alcohol. We hit it all. Make sure you get as close to the pipe as you can. Yeah, the trip sucks. Yeah, I can see it. But it's, you know, it's good enough, you know? Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> All right, so I am going to go ahead and cut this hole a little bit bigger because we are going to be making a plate, like a beauty ring for the outside. So I'm really not 
worried about it being exact. So Raven does want it to stick up out of the hood a little bit. But basically that's where the pipe is sitting at. So now I'm just gonna kind of like cut a square a little bit larger than that. Oh yeah, that works. Perfect. All right, so now obviously we gotta just kind of slowly trim it and like grind it outwards. Oversize it some. I'm trying to take a little bit at a time, bro, because if you don't take enough, it's all right. You could slowly take more, you know what I'm saying? But if you overcut, then you're kind of screwed. So not really, because we are making a beauty plate, but. No, I'm not. Either way. Well, we're cutting a hood and a UPS truck pulled up. The package from who? Uh, do you name John Sa Satchel? Satilo? Uh, yeah, it says that it was sent to the P.O. box, but uh, this might be that package that was lost. Oh. That they, like, sent it to us. Oh, so this did go to the P.O. box, and then they sent it to us? Yeah. So it has our P.O. box uh, address on there. That's pretty dope. So that must be the lost package from the P.O. box, man. Yeah, well, it. not right now. We'll open it later. No. I, I want to get this cut. It's already opening. <laughs> oh, brat. Dude, let me open it, dude. God, you take so long to open boxes. You were restarting your camera. Oh, you take <laughs> so long to open boxes, man. It's coming open. Look, right there. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Why does it sound? It sounds like parts. Toby, get back. What? What is it? Oh, dude, oh. that's an engine harness. <laughs> an engine harness in there. Dude, those are dope freaking pulleys. I wonder. What, oh, is this for like B? I wonder if that's B series. Bro, that'd be sick. That would be sick. Is that a throttle body? Bro. Yeah, this dude hit me up. Said that he was gonna send. A bunch of stuff out and that uh, he had a um an engine harness for your car i don't know if this was this is it got, well, it's gotta be right Ooh, look at Ooh. that boy jesus Good lord god is that a factory throws dude that can't be well look like maybe a factory like bored out but no i think it's like a an aftermarket one like a uh first gen skunk two or something dude look at that bro that's a pretty big throttle body. Bro. I wonder what size that is. We'll have to pull out the dang old measuring tape and figure her out. That's sick. Yeah, that is so dope. What? Bro. What? Bro, what I just saw in the back of that box. Yeah, what I seen in the back of the box too. Did That's a clean it? engine harness. Dude, that is a really clean harness, bro. Jesus. Oh my God, that's a clean ass harness. Dude, are these B-series freaking mounts right now? Bro. Are they B-series? They gotta be B-series, right? Uh, they look like it. So it looks like yeah, to me. B series. I wonder if these will. I wonder if these will work on the hatch on the EF. Pulleys. Pulleys. Performance engine parts. Oh, good lord. Jesus. Dude, what is all this stuff for? All these pulleys. Another little bolt. Dude, that thing's dope. What? What, what is it for, though? Um, I'm. I'm pretty sure for like. The alternator, like completely, like power steering, alternator, like all that kind of stuff. But I, they, they should be like engine specific, though. Yeah. So I'm not sure. And does the thing have a note in there? No, there's no note. No way. There's no way he wouldn't send a note with it. With all these parts. Well, I don't know. There's not a note, but um, it says it's from John. I'll have to try to find a met. I don't even know where it was at, bro. I always have that problem. It was Instagram, Facebook, it could have even been Snapchat. Who freaking knows? But yeah, somebody messaged me saying that they're going to send an engine harness out. So um, I, I think they included a few more goodies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would need Oh, yeah, look. EGRR. EGRR version 2. Yeah, I have version 1. So EG, right hand. EG, right hand. And then left hand for EG, I would imagine. Right yeah, so I'm pretty sure those are EGB series mounts. But John, if you're seeing this, hit me up and let me know what these pulleys are like specifically for. Cause, yeah, I don't know exactly. I, I mean, I know which one this one's for. We'll have to check it on 
your engine and see if this fits. Or on the, the B20 that we have sent over there. Video. Back to cutting. Bang, bang. There it is. Whoop, whoop. Hey, whoop. Do that to my hood. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, it came out pretty dope. Uh, the cut got a little bit wonky back here. So basically, whenever you lift the hood up, like right there, that gap right there is what's going to get closed in whenever we make a plate but yeah so that that's why i'm not too terribly worried about it man because we are going to make a beauty ring to go around it um moving on now we need to actually try to get his bumper fitted up because we did notice that whenever you put the bumper on it actually does hit the uh charge piping i got my sedan bumper everyone yes we know it's a sedan bumper you know how you know many comments you're gonna be like why are you writing a sedan bumper i i already said all this in the intro of the video <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, yep. so do they know why? Because it's already cut and I just didn't want to cut up another bumper. Now they do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? So I have good intentions, guys. I'm not stupid. Yeah, and I also already mentioned that we're going to be doing something with the bumper later that um, is going to completely change the look of it. So, But anyhow, now we have to try to get this set up to where the piping is going to actually stick out of the bumper some. Which, honestly, kind of what Braven wanted. Mm -hmm. Like, I was expecting the, it to not come in contact with the bumper, but... I wanted it to, like, but it does. cut through so that you could, like, it just looks more rusted. Yeah. Well, you got your wish there, bro. Got your wish. All right, so got the grill completely cut out. Now, mind you, uh, we are doing something with this in the future. It's not going to just look like a big bass mouth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, we are going to continue cutting the sides. Um, the original idea was to just kind of cut out where the pipes are going to be protruding through the bumper. Um, but instead of doing that, uh, what, what Braven's wanting to do is go ahead and continue this square just out a little bit wider so it clears all the piping. Which I know, it's gonna look it's gonna look kinda goofy right now, but believe me, we have plans. Toby, Toby, stop, dude. That's your freaking mom, bro. But but we do have plans to um uh base we're gonna be adding some aluminum and stuff to the bumper. You guys will see it in the future. So it's gonna look goofy for right now, but we just we gotta get it cut. So put it back on. I, I wanna see how far we have to cut for this side if it's the same distance. Cause it looks like we're gonna have to cut further on this side than on the driver's side. No, we don't. Dude, that's barely barely touching the pipe. Yeah. I'm telling you, it just has like it's literally like a notch like this. this like so we, we pretty much gotta go to like right here. Yeah, on each side. Yeah. Big bet. <laughs> Why did I do that? Yeah, look at my finger. Oh, look at my finger. That's where dude, it landed earlier. That's gonna bubble up, bro. Yeah, mine That bubbled. burned the living shit out of me. Crap, I don't know what. Oh, it already hurts like a bitch. <laughs> well, screw you, police. I just changed my fingerprint. I have to clean these up because the back of them are silver and I don't like it. Um, have you if you haven't been able to tell I'm going with all black scheme with the car so I'm gonna just paint the the back of it and also the bracket um, black so that it'll look cleaner um, but they're a little dirty right now from sitting out back so I'm gonna clean them up and then let them dry Alrighty, so I got them all detached from the actual bracket. Pretty much now all I have to do is mask off the lens on each side. Well, I gotta wipe it down because it's still kind of wet. Um, mask off the lens and then spray the, spray the back of them black and then spray all this black as well.
So I got these all masked off and plugged up and ready to go. Uh, masked off the threads on there so that it's not hard to put the nuts back on. Um, yeah, so they're pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna set them up out back and then uh, scuff them up a little bit and then spray them. Ah. Oh, there's a bug on me. <laughs> Should have sprayed him with a gun, but nah. I don't want to get spray paint all over me. Alrighty, first coat done on those. I'm gonna come back and then do a second coat on here, but I'm not gonna record it. You'll just see the finished product. All right, guys, I got all set up inside of the booth. We have Braven's doors, both of the doors for the Venom Coupe and his trunk lid. Uh, we're gonna be cutting both of these. Obviously, it's basically the same thing like, like we did with Junior's car, like we did with Curly's car. We're just cutting like the entire inside skin out. Taking all of the... Uh, window regulator stuff out we'll be taking the door bar out so that's what we're doing man um yeah and we're set up in the booth so that afterwards hopefully tonight I, i'm not going to promise anything but hopefully um if this goes smoothly then we can just go ahead and sand them down and spray them right now dude I got good news and I got bad news. We got one door cut completely and it came out clean, bro. Like, I feel like every time I do this, and I know I've already said this, um, every time I do this, it just comes out even better, bro. Like, Junior's car was the first car that I ever cut. Um, well, khaki. I cut the doors on khaki, which came out decent. But um, Junior's car, but then uh, Curly's car came out better than Junior's. But now this one came out even cleaner, bro. Like, I got so much material off all the way up. And then this just came out super clean. I think on Curly's even, I I had a chunk still right here. I wasn't able to get into there. Because this is a difficult area. Um, and then over here is kind of difficult. But I ended up cutting it and it came flush with this piece on the inside. So I took the soft disc grinder and just made it all clean. So anyhow, also went around all this. Made it dull to where it's not really super sharp. Why are you standing like that? Freaking weirdo. But yeah, um, I was working on doing the second door. <sighs> and the grinder took a shit, bro. My good old DeWalt grinder finally crapped out on me, man. I've had this thing forever. Um, not as long as I've had that one, though. This was, this is my old grinder. And I pulled it out to use it, but then the freaking power button is gone. Like, the little tub that we have all these power tools in, like, it must have got banged around enough to where the power button broke off. I haven't been able to get it to turn on, but, like, this thing's all freaking electrical taped and cracked. Like, if I remember correctly, I think that this was actually shooting sparks out. So, I was just going to try to see if it still worked or not. But, yeah, this one crapped out on us. We do still have the battery-powered one, but you guys already know. Be having too many problems with my batteries. I had like five batteries, dude. Now I'm down to like two because all the batteries crapped out. Anyhow, I'm gonna call the video here because now it's like it's like midnight right now. Um, we're gonna end up going tomorrow and just buying a new grinder so we can finish this up and start painting all this stuff. Didn't even get to get this damn door freaking finished. This right here is also another really difficult area. So, do you see all this doubled up metal? Like, there's multiple layers here, and it's just, it's crazy. So, you look at that, and then this is the finished product. Like, it came out really nice, dude. So, I'm excited to get these done, because we're going to paint them inside it out. Should make it look really clean. We also still have his trunk to do, which we didn't get to. We still have my trunk, my hood, um, and we're going to trim a little bit more. We'll clean up the cut that's on his hood. Like, we still have a lot of cutting to do, man. Can't do any of it without a grinder, but.
Raven did get the headlights done. I kind of got on his ass earlier. It's funny. I, I come walking in here, and this dude was seriously un like unmasking his headlights. Right? I had forgot. Really. Which ones are Which ones are mine? Those ones are yours. Of course they are. The dull looking ones. Those ones are literally yours. No, these right here look more familiar. Cool. Look how I did mine. Mine don't have freaking LEDs in there. Yeah, this look these ones yours. are mine right here. Look, look, look at yours, the one that you decided that you want to do that. I, yeah. I told you just to do a little lip, dude, you freaking hack job. Call me shiny too, bro. <laughs> Anyhow, I come in here, this dude is unmasking his headlight, right? He's taking all the masking off his headlight. And I'm like, oh, did you paint your headlight? I look at this guy, I'm like, bro, you don't think I don't want I, I don't want the back of my headlights painted? Like you could have literally done both of our headlights at the same time. Like a chill, a chill. Like I literally just painted my car and then I painted your car. I gotta paint all my doors and then I gotta paint all your doors. So anyhow, like I'm cutting his doors and then I have to cut my doors. Like, well, I got pre-cut doors. Anyhow, like I'm doing everything on both cars. This dude goes over here and he masks off his headlights and paints the housing on his headlights. What a douchebag, bro. Anyhow, guys, the headlights are finished, so. Yeah, just to black out the back back side of them. Cause, yeah, we literally want like everything on this car to be black, dude, so. Yes, sir. Here you go, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. Didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but unfortunately the damn grinder crapped out on us. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash the like button. If you didn't, maybe you just need to lower your standards a little bit. Peace. Later there, rugged.